don't lie that it's the government of Nigeria that's putting me up to this. This is what Suleiman is asking me to do. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, before I say anything else, let me firstly apologize to my subscribers, like uh, my subscribers that are not Nigerians that do not understand what this story is about. Because the last time I posted it, I later realized I have some dedicated subscribers that are not Nigerian <clears throat> and they will not understand what the story is about. I thought I should have actually maybe explained a bit so just to give them a feel of what the story was about but i failed to do that the last time so today i'm going to do that straight away so basically there's the man called johnson suleiman suleiman right and then there's a girl called stephanie otobo okay johnson johnson suleiman is the pastor in nigeria a lot a lot of people didn't know well i didn't know him i don't know especially nigerians abroad will not know him i didn't know him but when this whole story broke out a lot of people got to know him so there's this girl called stephanie otobo who lives in canada uh, Josie suleiman is a pastor of a church and um otobo is a nigerian girl that lives in canada long story short she came out last year and she said she was having a relationship with suleiman um suleiman promised to marry her and they had this relationship so she showed evidence of video calls between her and suleiman she showed very compromising pictures and she had so much she had so much information like she came out with a lot like a lot of information so she produced bank statement of all this amazing amount of money he's paid into her account account it has his his name on it everything every detail is there she showed video calls where she basically took her top off and he is there lying down and chilling and looking at her with her top off but yeah so she came out and she started bringing up more evidence more evidence she was like this date we were in this place she was so like you know the way that's how i feel about it she just had she wasn't struggling for answers every question you asked her like she was asked she had the answer like that I feel like sometimes when people are lying they kind of can be very hesitant to produce another answer she had so much like you know and the thing i my take on this is if somebody is lying right if you ask them a question sometimes they will take a while to think of what to answer this girl wasn't taking the minute to answer questions because the, you know if something is the truth you don't need to think about it before you say it so that's how i felt so long story short recently this girl came out and confessed that she lied in the first place okay so this is just what the story is about okay this is what the story is about so just for those that are not nigerians that do not know the story just to fill you guys in a bit so that you don't feel lost in today's video i want to talk about a video i just saw i'm gonna give you guys the link you guys can all watch the video for yourself am i surprised about this video no when it's from the first time this story broke i watched all the you know all the videos i read all the articles or whatever they were that were posts and everything that were written about this thing and i'm that kind of person right i do not i have had experience with pastors and and i have i have actually made the video about a pastor that told me that we were meant to be a couple but later on he dumped me for somebody else okay but we have a lot of nigerians that think that pastors are perfect you know pastors are so holy they can't do anything wrong let me tell you pastors are like you and i they fall for temptations too and I, a good pastor can will tell you that he sins too but he prays for forgiveness and tries to change that is what we all are anybody that does not sin has to be has to be god anybody that does not sin has to be god so that's the biggest problem a lot of nigerians have is accepting that a pastor can do something wrong i am in a place to say because of my experience that i can say pastors can do something wrong too a pastor have tried to do things with me that are not right watch i'm i'm gonna link my old video my previous video where i talked about this right i'll link it i will link it in the comment section below let me tell you what some pastors do right they will pick somebody that they feel that nobody will believe their story and they will do the most ridiculous things because they know who's going to believe you like what would the pastor be doing with you do you know what i mean some pastors will do that like the, why i'm making this video is some of my friends just a few days ago were arguing with me on facebook about this story and they're like yeah <clears throat> why would you believe the girl why would you believe her story blah 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 let me tell you i do not know stephanie otobo never met her don't it no i only see her on the internet right and i have never met johnson but when i look at johnson 
and I ask myself, is there some is that something this guy can do? I am convinced that it's something he can do. Right? Just by looking at him. That's what we are. We're humans. We judge people without knowing them. It is the most natural thing to do. We do that. Just by your way you behave, the way you act, people can say, Hmm, are you capable of doing this? Does Justin Suleiman look like the kind of a guy that would do that? I'll say yes. Does Stephanie Otobo look like the kind of a girl that would sleep with somebody else's husband? Yes, to me she does. Do I know for a fact it happened? No, I don't. Why? Because I wasn't there. Do I think that it happened? Yes, I do. I think it happened. Why do I think it happened? This girl had so much information spewing out of her. She just had so much coming out of her. That's what happens when you're telling the truth. Well, that's how I feel. That's what happens when you're telling the truth. Because it's the truth, it's just flying out of you. It's just flying out of you. So that's one thing you have to know about the truth. The truth comes out freely. You know why? Because it's the truth. It doesn't need to be calculated. It doesn't need to be... You know, you don't need to make... But when you're lying, somebody asks you a question. You may take a few seconds to give an answer. Because you're planning what to say next. This girl came and she had information flying out of her like that. Like that. Like that. You know? So... Those pictures were quite compromising. And how does the pastor explain how? How does the pastor explain how he spends all this money on a girl that is not even a church member? On a girl that is not his church member. And there are so many poor people in his church. He claimed, no, I gave, it, I gave her the money to help her. Why would you help her? She's not even in your church. You give all this money to one girl to help her. And you have so many church members that are so poor. And you give giving millions, millions to this. How does that make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so in this video, this is a video, I will give you guys the link. You can go watch the full video yourself. This is a video where um, Stephanie Otobo explained the amount of pressure that has been put on her. Her mother had been pressured. Pressure from different... And she talked about how Suleiman's people have tried to tell her to come out with another story and confess and confess because it's not a real confession that some politicians and so whatever made her say that stephanie otobo was saying this herself they had been pressuring her previously she said she wasn't gonna do it but now she comes out and does it this video is basically an evidence i already believe that her coming out to confess confess I knew that video was fake. Looking at this girl, you know that was not her in that church. That was her body there, but her mind was not there. You know, there are a lot of reasons why she may buy into this. One, money. If they offer her a lot of money, because the pastor knows how much bad name that has given, given him, he would never want to give up on this. It can be they paid her a lot of money to come and do this. Why will Suleiman do it? This is hanging over his head. It's not going away. He can do this so that people can finally say, like, to help people feel like, okay, okay, maybe this girl, you know, he's trying to, he knows that some people believe him, but he knows a lot of people out there do not believe him. He's doing his best to, you know, clear up what is going on. This is how I feel. That's what I think. He is doing his best to clear this whole thing up. How is going to, what is going to be the best way to do it? Is to get the girl that told the story in the first place to come back out and say something else. Do you know, the world will believe this girl because she's the one that they believed in the first place. If she says something else, they will believe her. You know, that's going to help people think I was innocent and then I can move on. Right? Well, well, a lot of people are not that stupid. You cannot fool all Nigerians. You cannot. That video, she was in his church. In his church. His wife standing right there. And she, the wife, is the one administering this forgiveness. And her husband was nowhere to be found. Think It was all staged. All staged. But what annoys me is how stupid do they think we are? How stupid? You know, you can see it's staged. Some people may be fooled, but not everybody is fooled. So one reason could be for money. They may have offered her so much money she cannot resist. Two, she may be like, you know what? I am done with this drama. I want to move on with my life. Because some people didn't believe her and some people have given her bad names. 
right? She may say, you know what, I'm going to come out and do this so they can leave me alone, so I can see if I can have a bit of a normal life. That's another reason why she may do it, because a lot of people have things to say about her. Even people that believe, there are some people that believe her that are still like, what the hell were you thinking? Sleeping with a married man. What the hell were you thinking? You know, expecting him to dump his wife and marry you. Do you know, even some people that believe her story hate her for that. If she wants to go to Nigeria to see her family, as far as I know, she's the only one living abroad. If she wants to go see her mother, see her family, she wants to go to Nigeria. This whole thing is hanging over her head. If she comes out and says, okay, let me confess, let them leave me alone. May they not go kill me. She may say, let me do this so they can leave me alone so I can have my life. I can go to Nigeria peacefully, you know, let's publicize it. Yeah, I have confessed. I'm sorry. Everybody forgive me. Let's all move on. I want to be able to go to Nigeria and go in peace. So there are a lot of reasons why she may have made this so-called confession. You know, but this video is evidence for those my friends that think this pastor is innocent. I have, I have told you guys, it's this simple. We're all humans. We all have our ways of thinking, we all have our ways of reasoning. Here he comes again. Renee, I'm trying to make a video. I'm trying to make a video. No, stay here. If you're going to stay still, you're not going to stay. So, some people are going to be like, oh yeah, like, let's be honest, right? You have your opinions, I have my opinions. We have to respect the fact that we all see things differently. Do we have to fight over it? No, we don't have to fight over it. That's your opinion and this is my opinion. We see things differently. I think that guy is not innocent. So, and I keep saying to everybody, you are not going to force me to think the way you think. If I come here and pretend that, oh yeah, you know, this didn't happen, I believe him now, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'll be lying to you because I do not believe him. I do not believe him. You know, I have seen pastors that have done, I have seen pastors that have done worse things. I, so, I don't look at pastors like these perfect people that can never do wrong. You know, so at the same time, I'm going to end by saying, <laughs> do I know if he's telling the truth? No. Do I know, know for a fact that um, um, Stephanie Otobo is telling the truth? I don't know for a fact, right? Right? I, we can't claim to know something when we were not there. I wasn't there. But do I think that she is telling the truth? Yes. Why I think that he had an affair with her? Yes. That's what I think. Understand the difference. We were not there, but what happens at the end of the day when there's evidence and there's so much thrown at us, we will think in a particular way. Way. We will think in a particular way. This is how I think right now. I think that it happened between them. What I think. Do I know for a fact? No. 